You, Mr. Sphinx, has helped me to understand the role of women in the Jehovah's Witness Church. Um, there are some fairly strict biblical New Testament um, injunctions about the role of women. Are they adhered to by your church? Um, I promise to give a short answer, uh, Your Honour. I, we have such respect for our wives and women. Your Honour, I, I did have a question, um, but I, I'm, com I note the time. No, no, but... you ask your question. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honour. Well, I had three, but I'll try to limit it. Um, <laughs> given the time. Um, I, for, for the record, my name is Ms David and I represent BCG. Again, I come back to BCG, but it is plainly clear from her statement that she did not feel supported and she did not feel protected through that process. Do you agree with that from having heard her evidence? Uh, do I agree that that was what her evidence was? Absolutely, yes. I heard it, yes. And you heard from the elders that they believe that they gave her support. I heard that too. Well, there's a clear disconnect there, isn't there? Uh, there's two different recollections. Well, well, no, no. What I want to suggest to you, it's not a different in recollection. There is a clear disconnect because while the well-meaning, a well-meaning elder might believe that he has provided support, what it really highlights is that they are completely inexperienced and unable to provide the sort of support that a victim of child abuse needs. Doesn't that what that indicates? Isn't that what that indicates? I think that's the longest question I've heard all day, but I think what, right. you, sorry if I can, uh, I think what you're saying um, is uh, if I had the, the power to be able to go back um, 24, no. 25 years, no. uh, I think... No, 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 sorry. no, no. What's being put to you is that this is not a question of recollection. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that the report from the survivor uh, as to the way she felt, which is her own yes. truthful account, is something which the elders obviously did not understand or appreciate. Okay. And that may be because of the limitations that old men, like me, and me. Uh, might have in dealing with intimate allegations from a young woman about what has happened to them. Yeah. Do you understand the I, point? I do, and I accept that. Yeah. Well, accepting it's one thing, but then what's built into your process, if, if you accept it, is the risk in every case, when we're talking about abuse of this nature, that the survivor will feel unsupported and indeed may well be traumatised by the process. You understand? I do. And, and that's a very serious position for the Jehovah's Witness to be in and a matter of concern to the Commission. Do you understand? I, I do understand. And that the case of BCG highlights that there are gross inadequacies in the, in the way that the Jehovah's Witness congregation deal with these matters, notwithstanding their good intentions. I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that they are clearly from BCG's point of view, as an example, I'm sure representing many other victims, uh, that change needs to occur to ensure that there is a comprehensive regime in place to look out for her, not that the elders don't have that capacity. Do you agree with that? Again, it was such a long question, but but if I understand, I understand the criticism, and I I think again, I would say I do understand what you're saying. And that there needs to be that that is an area that you need to look at seriously within your processes, and in in, in to ensure that you can properly support and protect a victim such as BCG. And and continually do so, continually reevaluate and accept accept those observations. And to accept those observations precisely. Yep. Yes. I agree. Thank you.